Hot exhaust gas exiting the GT is still very hot, even though it has given up energy to rotate the turbine and generator. It is typically at temperatures approximately 1,150 degrees Fahrenheit. This heat energy can be captured and used to create steam in the HERSIG, which in turn drives a steam turbine, thus increasing the efficiency of the unit. Within the HERSIG, or heat recovery steam generator, the hot gases flow over finned boiler tubes. As hot gases travel over the finned tubes, the heat is transferred to the water traveling on the inside of the tubes. The heat energy gained by the water in the tubes eventually causes the creation of high pressure steam. The hot gases at approximately 1,150 degrees Fahrenheit at the GT exhaust travel through the different sections of the HERSIG where it continues to transfer its heat to the boiler tubes before it is exhausted to atmosphere via the stack at approximately 170 degrees Fahrenheit. While passing through the HERSIG, exhaust gases also interact with an oxidation catalyst section as well as a selective catalytic reduction, or SCR, section. These sections are installed for air pollution control. The oxidation catalyst section converts carbon monoxide, or CO, to carbon dioxide, which is also known as CO2. Aqueous ammonia is injected before the selective catalytic reduction, or SCR, section. The aqueous ammonia, NOx, and O2, or oxygen, in the heated air react when exposed to the catalyst in the SCR to form nitrogen and water. This facility, with its emission controls, will be one of the cleanest combined cycle units in the state. Natural gas-fired duct burners are installed in the HERSIG casing to increase the HERSIG steam production and steam turbine generator power output. The duct burners are able to increase the megawatt output by approximately 15 to 20 megawatts per HERSIG. The flow of feed water and steam is counter to the exhaust gases from the gas turbine. The order of feed water flow is the low pressure economizer, low pressure evaporator, high pressure economizer, intermediate pressure superheater, low pressure superheater, high pressure evaporator, first pass high pressure superheater, reheat superheater, and the final high pressure superheater section where the steam at approximately 1,950 pounds per square inch and 1,050 degrees Fahrenheit is piped to the steam turbine generator. 